I'm Elisa I welcome to Share Your Vision. Coach, Selection Sunday coming up at 5.30 in Lettering Auditorium. How excited are you and the Terriers for Selection Sunday? Never gets old. It's a great week and that's a great event for, uh, for the college and uh, for our players and uh, we'll look forward to that um, uh, this Sunday and it'll be a lot of fun for everyone. Now, Coach, over half of your team has been to the tournament before. How important is this that you have you have members of your team going to the tournament for a second time? Well, it's it's a significant, Elise. Um, you know, you can say all you want about it's another game, and we'll treat it like every other. But you get there, and it's uh, it, it it's a en different environment, and it can be an avalanche in terms of the exposure. The big arena, it's the NCAA tournament, um, you know, nationally televised, uh, you know, game. Uh, but, you know, having done that, and uh, Lee and John and Carl and the others, Eric Garcia, having had, had that experience a year ago, I do think that we will be in a much better frame of mind and a better understanding of what's most important. What's most important is preparing our team and finding a way to win. We know we're gonna play somebody really, really good. Uh, that, is a, uh, that is a given. That's what you, uh, you know, you're going to face in, uh, in this tournament. But um, I know our team uh, will play well and give ourselves, uh, again, we'll give ourselves a shot. Any predictions as far as what seed you'll go into the tournament or any teams you'll face in the first round? I think I tried some of that early on, you know, in, in the 2010, but it really, it's a, it's a futile exercise uh, to try to determine seed. I think we could be an 11. I think we could be a 12 or a 13. Um, and really what is uh, a, a real waste of time is trying to predict who you're going to play. There's still some balls in the air this weekend with uh, tournaments finishing up, some people moving. Um, you really don't know. You really have no idea. Uh, I will find out the same time you find out. The rest of uh, the country finds out. It's uh, you know on Sunday at uh, at six o'clock when those pairings are announced, and you know, and then uh, the real fun begins from there. Thank you. And Lee, do you have any predictions as far as who you play or any teams you would like to see? Um, no, I actually don't. I just keep hearing the same all as everybody else. I think Jacksonville or uh, you know playing Arkansas or Northern Iowa, but. Honestly, we're just happy to be in this position again and uh, excited to see what happens and where we end up, who we play on Sunday with everyone else. And let's talk about something, Lee. You were about to not even play college, collegiate basketball going into your senior year of high school. You didn't know what you were going to do, maybe not even go to college at all. And now you're a leader of a two-time SOCON championship program, and you were a most valuable player at the tournament this past weekend. How, how do you feel about that? What What is going through your head right now? Uh, I still haven't been able to wrap my mind around it. Um, just very excited for the team, uh, the coaches, everybody uh, involved, the fans. Um, Wofford community has been on fire this this past week, and it's been uh, the energy has been great. Um, but to come this far is, is just a another awesome accomplishment and I couldn't be uh, more happy and proud. Now Leah, I was at the championship game and I saw you signaling for your mom and your mom hurried down to the edge of the stands and she just tears filled up in her eyes as you gave her your plaque from the most valuable player of the SOCON tournament. What does your mom mean to you? She means everything. Uh, this is why uh, she's a, the reason why I'm here really. I um, made a promise to her that I would earn a degree from college because I didn't necessarily want to go to school after high school but uh, she's the reason why I am here doing uh, what I'm doing whatever it takes to um, keep my promise to her. Clearly I'm mama's boy. <laughs> we'll see everybody Sunday night for Selection Sunday 530 in Leonard Auditorium.